All right, welcome back. It's time now to continue with our segment. Thanks so very much, Barry Masters and Dr. Osara, for that engaging conversation. Well, we get to learn here at Y254 and, of course, educate you, inform you, and give you relevant stories and, of course, the life transforming things that are happening in and around you by the way. But here, we unfold everything and demystify everything that you need to know. Well, right now, let's talk about talent and business. I'm joined by a team of young people. I can call them young people. Yeah. You are young as you are. Yes. Aging gracefully. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me introduce right from me. It's none other than Jeremy. Is it Nyanga or Nyaga? Nyanga. <laughs> yes. All right. You're the CEO. Yeah. I'm not really the CEO, uh -huh. but I'm just a leader in the company. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. That is how I would call it. Uh -huh. What if you said the founder? If you say the founder, so many people found it. So there are <laughs> stakeholders in this. <laughs> All right. Yes. Right. Right next to her is Valentine, not Valeria. It's Valentine. Valentine uh -huh. Ogada. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. It's nice to have you people. Pleasure. And of course, you have someone that is amazing. We'll be talking about that. So you can keep on interacting with us while uh, on our Facebook page, it's Y254. And of course, our Twitter handle is at Y254 channel. Our SMS line is 20154, starting with the word Y254. Well, we had a question on Facebook. We st it's still there. Well, keep answering us. We'll be asking, of course, even our guests later on at the end of this segment. But right now, let's venture into this. Who is now? Let's talk about Jeremy Nyaga. Okay. I don't worry much about the name. Uh -huh. You can as well call me Jeremy, Jeremy, still the message will be out there. Uh -huh. Can you Jeremy. hold on the mic a bit, Juki Dogo? Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. So Jeremy is a talent mentor mm -hmm. and uh, a creative personality. Having worked in creative industry for the last uh, 18 years, uh, started uh, creative way back in uh, high school. And of course, when I after high school, I uh, got into acting and got into modeling and got into poetry and got into singing. I would just say I was interested in creative arts. Mm -hmm. So from there I developed mm -hmm. and of course uh, got to get a space for myself mm -hmm. within the creative economy sector or in, in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, have money to grow um, as an actor, as a model, and then of course as a choreographer and as an event organizer. You have done all these? Yes, I've done all these in the span of 18 years. 18 years is not just two days. It's quite a long, <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So with that, of course, uh, managed also to get into the leadership space and uh, got in for, of course, some political positions just as a way of uh, initiating a leadership process in my life. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, I got not to be led, but I got to lead. What do I mean by that? In me, I always believe that uh, everyone that is behind me is a leader. So we are a group of leaders everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, into the <coughs> space any longer of uh, getting decisions from somewhere to follow, but be part of the decision-making process. Wow, yeah. you, that's nice. And you mentioned about high school. Yes. What were you doing in high school? Um, quite impressing. Uh, yes, because yeah, I, I think I now it's due to reverse the question. Yeah, in high school, uh -huh. I was a prolific footballer. Oh, right. <laughs> and of course, I played football even for the Kenyan team. Uh -huh. That is way 2005. And some of the people we played with, of course, uh, managed to go overseas, like uh, the likes of uh, Dennis Oliech. Okay. But after high school, so when Dennis I came... So Dennis Oliech was your classmate? Uh, not really my classmate. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, the time he was in school, I was also in school. Our oh, schoolmate? He, not really the same school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get your point. <laughs> Uh -huh. I know you're calculating the, the age. You know? <laughs> Don't uh -huh. No, but of course, uh, during the same uh, same season mm -hmm. that he, he was in high school, mm -hmm. he was uh, two years ahead, right. but we played during the same seasons. Mm -hmm. Yes, so thereafter, of course, coming out of high school, he uh, played for uh, local teams. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, in the year tw two, 206, as many footballers will know, uh, Kenya was burnt mm -hmm. twice with the FIFA. Mm -hmm. And of course, that demoralized me. And when my family approached me to say, like, uh, there's no life in football, go and be, a, what do you call, Askari, <laughs> policy. Uh, I couldn't take it. And so that from there, I channeled my energy into the creative arts. You know, I'm prompted. I wish I reversed the question. What haven't you done in this life? <laughs> you have been a politician. You have been a leader in very many aspects. You've been a footballer. You have yes. done art. Yes. It has something to do with my upbringing. Uh -huh. Yes, how I was brought up. And of course, now I had to put myself into the space right. of also 
uh, uh, beating the odds of life that mm -hmm. uh, you cannot make it until and not unless you have a, a god father so i never believed i only believed in one god who's the father mm -hmm. and so he opened every way for me and everywhere that <coughs> i i went to knock the door he was always ahead of me opening the door for me and he still opens doors for All me right. and he will still open doors for me that is God. That gives a, li a, li a leeway to talk now to Valentine because Valentine's like, oh, <laughs> you know, Valentine's like, oh my, my, what is this? Yes, Valentine, who is Valentine? Um, Valentine is multi talented, I can say. All right. I started from high school, that's uh, modeling. Mm -hmm. I sing, I dance, partially teach dance and also music. Uh, I work <laughs> professionally, so practically I use my talent slightly as a business and my job as my profession. All right, a uh, special statement to Fadili. You say that I cannot dance, now I have a trainer. <laughs> From now on, I'm venturing into it. <laughs> anyway, Valentine, uh, apparently I happened to notice that you're not uh, practicing your career. Mm -hmm. What made you not to stick to your career? Is it a talent or something that you opted to grow fast? Uh, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. uh, because, okay, mainly what I realized that everywhere I, every time i get an opportunity to get a job there is something that breaks through and that in terms of music or in terms of dance or mainly i can say in time in terms of modeling because mm -hmm. i've practically done it for a couple of years right now and what i can say in the in in the industry it's not that okay you have to know people All to right. get there but for me i decide to make a leeway for myself yeah so Having a job and using my talent at the same time is a win-win. Uh, there's someone who's asking, how do you make this? How did you make this leeway? Uh, how did I make this leeway? Let's just say, okay, practically I have three elder sisters. Right. So I learned from them and I learned from my mom. So what I, like uh, the previous uh, guest said, mm -hmm. monkey see, monkey do. I learn mm -hmm. and I do. I don't wait for someone to say, oh, Valentine, you need to then. No, I just take the step myself. I don't have to wait for someone to tell me to do something. All right. Uh, and when you talk about that, there's something uh, she, she has said about, uh, I don't have to wait for anyone. Do you think there's a system that we have of waiting on someone instead of growing our talents? Yeah, most definitely that is. It's, it's a bad culture, I would say, whereby, as I said earlier on, you're trying to wait into Godfatherhood. That is something that's really not uh, good for growth in terms of uh, the, the current generation we are in. But uh, as the Swahili word say, jitume, mm -hmm. if you're the kind who believe in what you got in you and you believe that what you have in you, it's a, it's, it's a powerful thing, then you got to send yourself out there to get it. Because mm -hmm. the space, when you interact with people you try to learn that the space everyone has a struggle in their life and if everyone has a struggle in their life that those who use their struggles in a positive way to intimidate the space around them and so we would think probably for them it will be a, a way of somebody opened up a door for them right. but actually they use their inability to create an ability in them so that is what i say g2 may get yourself out there so it doesn't have to be somebody to hold your hand but of course, that uh, will not stop me to mention the aspect of mentorship being mm -hmm. a key thing in each and every one of us life. All right, which, which our previous guest has mentioned. And I, I want us to look at it and now talk about the talent and entrepreneurship. Uh, you being the leader of uh, Talanta and Talanta pre pre new ta Talent Talentpreneur. Talent How do these both come and merge? Okay. Uh, as the good book says, and I would uh, always refer to it, uh, the good book being the Bible, definitely. There are places we've been taught in the Bible how uh, various people were given talents and uh, asked to go and put them in use. Mm -hmm. Actually, they're not told what to go and use, but they were just given. And there are those who decided to put in use, mm -hmm. there are those who decided to store it. Why would I say talentpreneur? Why talentpreneur? These are two words brought together, two nouns brought together. And one stands for business and one stands for giftings. Natural ap uh, ap ap aptitude. Mm -hmm. Yes. Each and every one of us has a, um, an, an idea inside of them. The difference is how you bring them out. 
how you put them into life. So I looked at these things that goes in the world like, oh, um, I, I'm looking for a job. I want this to be done for me. I went through an uh, education system and I looked at it wholesomely. But then again, when I look on the social aspect, I mean, some of the most influential people mm -hmm. in this world mm -hmm. are not academic, academically up there. All right. They are just somewhere. At least they know how to read their names. Uh -huh. But now, when it comes to decision making, uh -huh. they make decisions because they got the power in their hand and they skillfully use their talents, be it a football talent, be it a creative arts talent. They used it. Mm -hmm. And in any... In any space that you see currently, even in the media houses, uh, mm -hmm. entertainment controls everything. Mm -hmm. So that is what uh, uh, pushed me to try and carve this talentpreneur and see how do I help individuals who really are not good academically, but still they have something in them that they can use as their talent. You have mentioned something about talent and school. You know, uh, considering the CBC now that it's coming in, yeah. How how is the talent and school not relating? Because you have said that if you even if you fail, you still got your talent. Um, the CBC, and mm -hmm. think that is a, a very good uh, thing for the government really to work hard and make sure that it's implemented in totality. What do I really mean by that? Um, when I was in school, there's this activity that we are doing called PE. That yeah. was during the morning Primary hours. Primary education. And then yes, and then there was in the evenings when we were doing the the games. And for me, those are the most exciting moments in my life in school. <laughs> Ex exactly. <laughs> but I would even make sure that for five minutes I'm mm -hmm. in the field. You can hold to the mic. Yes, mm -hmm. for five minutes I'm hold in the up. field. Mm -hmm. So that would enable me, of, of course, to just live a happy life. There's something about co-curriculum activity. Mm -hmm. It gets you off. Because mm -hmm. you see, it said when your head locks, when your brain locks, it mm -hmm. locks. And co-curriculum activity opens your brain. And that's what you'll find even in the IT sector. The IT gurus, where they work, are not really formal places. They work under trees, they work under... And they don't wear official? And they don't wear official. They're just as simple as that. They mm -hmm. give their mind that opportunity to think widely mm -hmm. without limitation. All right. That is what talent gives you. I don't know whether Valentine Elifanya PE is to kill a class, you know, group of schools. Uh, <laughs> now that she's a dancer, probably there's something messed up somewhere. Uh, let, let's talk about you are the you are the one who holds the docket of Talanta Preneur of media and public relations. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about the media and its impact towards the talents of young people. Okay, what I can say about media, nowadays we have everything. We have Facebook, we mm -hmm. have Twitter, we have Instagram, uh, we have YouTube. That's the guys who also open YouTube channels. For now, you don't need someone to help you discover yourself. Record what you have. If you're singing, record it, post it on YouTube, post it on Facebook. What you have is what you, you give the people. Mm -hmm. uh, what If they see, they like. They'll like your comments, they'll comment, they'll, as in, perso personally, I can say the media, uh -huh. you can use the media for yourself. You right. don't need someone to manage your account. You don't need someone to tell you that you need to sing with this tune or you need to sound like this. Just use the media as a platform for yourself to market yourself. You're making me almost laugh when, I th when, I, when you're putting on your earphones, then you sing, mm -hmm. then by chance your phone goes off. Then you listen to yourself, you've been a big shock. Then you say, you know, put that on YouTube. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Uh, probably what she needs to add on that. Uh -huh. huh? Everything that you do, even if you're not really, 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 really good mm -hmm. in terms of your vocals, mm -hmm. huh? but add a little bit of skill in mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Put a skill on it. If you're singing off key, sing off key skillfully. <laughs> True. How yes. do you sing off key skillfully? It's you make it like sound like uh, you're making some comedy right. and actually you wanted to sing and there. somebody would think like you're doing some comedy <laughs> and of course you see uh -huh. so you do it skillfully there then you make the difference then you are you no are one will poor. notice mm -hmm. no one will notice and mm -hmm. anyway how many of us after the the the, 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 the what do you call it? the curriculum was changed mm -hmm. some of us when you're in lower primary i did music as a subject mm -hmm. currently i'm told it's it's no longer much a consideration to be done of course now the new cbc coming in they're trying to reintroduce it mm -hmm. and the likes of art and craft so at least some of us know what a crochet is mm -hmm. but i'm sure 
there are some of us behind here who have no idea <laughs> what a crochet looks like and what it stands for as far as singing and music is concerned. Mm -hmm. But again, talent is not about singing alone. Uh -huh. There's poetry, mm -hmm. just speaking, mm -hmm. speak skillfully. There's acting, expression, mm -hmm. express skillfully. Mm -hmm. Which you guys are doing right now in talent for new. Yeah. Yes. So mm -hmm. what we're doing currently is purely doing an edu informative activity right. that will enable someone do the sets of inbuilt mm -hmm. talents skillfully. So we'll provide you with that platform and of course run for you a workshop and tells you you got something in you. We train you in that thing that you've got and then you go and present it to the general public mm -hmm. and of course to panel of judges to <coughs> help you further and uh, show you how to do it. Uh, probably, let me love Valentin, probably someone is watching and they're like, uh, we have heard talent for you, we have heard about what you do, what is this all about? Well, talent for you is about uh, using your skills mm -hmm. uh, to, en to enable yourself better your life because with the current economy you can say, uh, so many people have jobs, yes, but you get to a point where people are being retrenched. When you're retrenched, what do you have left? You'll stay home, start working on getting a new job, mm -hmm. and it's a hassle. We've been through it. But why can't you use your talent mm -hmm. as your business? That's why we have the hashtag Talentayako ni Bizna. Right. Yeah. So practically, I can say use your talent for your business. Don't sit at home and say, oh, I don't have a job. I don't know how to make money. You can make money with your business. In town, there's a guy who sings at uh, Mamangina Street. He just has a guitar, guitar. And his microphone, and he sings. And mm -hmm. the kids who dance on the streets, and they use it as a business. And someone will spot you and see that. That's why when uh, he's talking about uh, the Talent Renewal Workshop, mm -hmm we'll work with you even if you don't get to the finals we'll still hold your hand and guide you through so you don't have to just go through the procedure and if you don't get to the finals you're like ah next time no next time mm -hmm. we'll teach you through even when you're done and you don't get here this is what you can do to keep going all right let me now come to you jeremy hmm. uh, when you mentioned some she mentioned something about retrenchment and now when you now you come and join it with now talent entrepreneurship. We are talking about people being rich. How best can they use their talents for entrepreneurship? First of all, what is retrenchment? Mm -hmm. That is a big question. Mm -hmm. And uh, without uh, putting a specific definition, I would really say retrenchment is where somebody has control over your abilities. Mm -hmm. And somebody having control over your ability dictates your next course of action. Mm -hmm. And dictating your next course of action means they'll tell you what to do. So when you're retrained, you're told you're not going to have some power in your pocket. All right. And when you don't have power in your pocket, all of us know what that means. Mm -hmm. So when you're retrained, it means somebody has controlled your life. And if you're not well prepared for such set of activities, somebody or people usually end up into these mental issues like depressions because now at some point you are liquid at some point your liquid is uh, cut what people say tapi mefungwa mm -hmm. so when the tap is closed in terms of we need money to do so many things we need money to support our family we need money to support our friends we need money to support ourselves so when this retrenchment happens in your life and you're not careful get to know that you yourself have ability in you that you can reuse and mm -hmm. uh, put in action, then definitely you'll find yourself not being a worthy person in the society. Mm -hmm. But all of us are worthy in the society. So I would say retrenchment and talentpreneur. Talent is the only thing that gives you power in your hand to dictate mm -hmm. what you want with your life. Mm -hmm. Why would I say that? You've seen in so many occasions how entertainers use the moment they are on the platform to control. Entertainers are the only people who can even tell a president to stand and do something, and a president <laughs> will do. We've seen the you scenarios in down. Kenya, and I, I can mention, uh -huh. there's a time uh, uh, Rafton uh, was at the Kasarani Stadium, mm -hmm. and he was singing. And Rafton made all 12 presidents who were in the stadium stand and dance to his tune. Mm -hmm. There's another time we also saw this little man, Bahati. the young man Bahati, mm -hmm. stood the president in his seat mm -hmm. and sat on president's seat. Right. 
Who does that if you if you don't have power in your hands? Bahati had power because he is multi talented. Mm-hmm. I'm not vouching for Bahati, but I'm <laughs> telling you what talent can do for you. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, all right, uh, guys. If you by any chance happen to be returned from your company, there's so much that you can get to venture into. Well, entrepreneurship Tuesday is the t- is the day that you're gonna listen to this and far much more. Valentine, I wanna come back to you. Mm-hmm. Well, you have been uh, in this, or rather, the company has been in, in function for over three years now. Yes. Um, what young people need to venture in and nurture? Let me say, you don't need to venture into something. You don't need to nurture yourself because you were born with it. Yeah. You can't say, I learn how to sing. Okay, some people actually do learn how to sing and learn how to dance. It's just perfecting your skill. Yeah, that's what I can say. Yeah, so what young people need to do is just be, be broad. Learn who to talk to, learn who to go to, but don't sit back and wait. That's why we have Talentpreneur. Talentpreneur is there to nurture you. Talentpreneur is there to teach you. Talentpreneur is there to work with you. Yeah. All right, so uh, you deal with kids? Yeah. Primary school, high school? Primary school, high school, university, leavers, all trends. That's between the age of 10 to 26. Yeah. All right, these are some of the things that we have. Mm-hmm. What, what is this? What is this? Lucky or something? Oh, that is Lucky. Mm-hmm. That is the mother company that uh, gave birth to Talentpreneur. This was uh, 2016. Yeah, when we were launching out? This was 2016 when we were doing, when in preparation for the competition that happened in 2016 mm-hmm. uh, at Michael mm-hmm. Joseph Center, Safari Com House. Mm-hmm. And uh, at, this, mm-hmm. uh, at this one, we were training, uh, we were preparing the kids uh, for the competition. This was a theory class. Uh, I know this gentleman here and quite a number of kids in the picture. Right. Yes. So this was exactly what you were doing back in 2016? This is what we di- one of the activities we did in 2016. Mm-hmm. Yes. How many did you do when you were launching out in 2016? How many what? How many activities did you do in 2016? In 2016, we measured right. purely on, on, on uh, pageantry, mm-hmm. and we measured on kids' pageantry that mm-hmm. o- from age 8 mm-hmm. up to preteen. Mm-hmm. Yes, from age 8 to preteen. And we were measuring on modeling, but acting, poetry, dancing were supportive acts. Mm-hmm. Those were supportive acts that supported the, the oh. as a model. Example, Kate, she's called Kate, the mm-hmm. previous one. Mm-hmm. She was a very good poet, yes, mm-hmm. da, and she did a very good monologue that she went to present uh, in Greece. The, Is the this Little year. Miss Kenya? Yeah. Yes, it's called yeah. Little, Little Miss Kenya. Kenya. That's right. what I'm saying. We use pageantry as a driving uh, aspect of that particular year, mm-hmm. and th- that was a theme. This was a yeah. year? This, was, uh, this now was year 20, 2017. Oh, right. The one other year one was, launched out. Yeah, the other one. No, we launched in 2015. Mm-hmm. Then we did the first activity in 2016, 2016 yes, right. and then 2017 and 2018, and the one that we saw with them in red, mm-hmm. that was again Greece in 2018. All right, uh, what's what's the? I'm seeing you guys are doing so much with the kids. Yes, because I've not seen so much people venture I- with kids. Yeah. Anything related to young people, or rather the kids. We have seen youths, you know, at the age of 18 and about people who know what they ought to be doing. Yeah, why venture to these in terms of kids? Uh, when you look at the space, and uh, I would say the, the lady at the extreme end, she's called Tina. Mm-hmm. Currently, as we're speaking, uh, yesterday they did a, uh, uh, one of the activities. Mm-hmm. She's in Spain uh, for the same little miss she went to represent right. with the contestants that we had for 2018. Mm-hmm. We're venturing with kids because we want to prepare them from an early age. Mm-hmm. When some of us were growing up, mentioning that you wanted to be a model could automatically give you a ticket for a hooping that will not even dare to have for yourself. Our parents believe that you can only make it in life as a teacher, as a doctor, uh, as pilot. yes, as a in pilot, the, yeah. those oh, yeah. kind of things. But saying you wanted to use your talent was mm-hmm. a no-go zone area. Right. So for Talentpreneur, we said, not like we, wa- we want the 18 and above to, to remain uh, unmentored, right. but they're also being mentored. But we said, let's start with these ones. And then we use 18 and above as uh, what, what I call ambassadors to tell these ones, 
while I was growing up, I did not get the mentorship that you're getting. And these are the loopholes that made me probably delay experiencing or exploiting my talent within the space mm -hmm. that I needed to. So you got in it early, use it when you can. All right, v Valentine, uh, there's so much about the kids. Is it a passion or something? Yes, I can say it's a passion because mm -hmm. kids bring out the beauty in everything. When I was growing up, I loved dancing and singing and partly acting. But the more I grew up, the more it faded. Because when you get to high, when you get to primary and high school, your parents and teachers are like, ah, wachana naizo soma, because mm -hmm. <laughs> they know education is the key to, to success. success. But it's not necessarily education that is the key to success. Mm -hmm. Example. What did I study? What am I doing? They're two different <laughs> things. So when you bring a kid up knowing that I can also use my talent mm -hmm. for my business, that's when they become versatile. So I can use music. I will teach music. That is a talent that I have, but I'm teaching it and using it as a business. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm noticing something from you, Valentine and Jeremy. Mm -hmm. You guys are two people who believe that you can venture into anything at any given particular time. You're yes. jack of all trades. Yeah. Which apparently ends up to most young people saying like failure at one point may emerge. I think I need to allow you to talk about that. What do you think? It does tend to happen. Mm -hmm. Failure does emerge at some point. But the thing is, plan what you're doing. Always have a focus and a future. Don't have 10,000 things lined up right. and you don't know what you're driving yourself into. Always have a purpose because uh, personally I can say Jeremy has taught me a lot. He's worked with me for the past few months mm -hmm. and he's taught me that once you focus your mind on something, you get to achieve it. But if you have like five things you've lined up at the same time and you don't have a plan, write it down. Have a checklist. I have done this. What has it brought me? I have done this. So what next? And that's what we usually talk about entrepreneurship. You've got an idea. You've got to plan. You could have a strategy. Then you've got to do your research right, then venture into it. Yes. yes exercise and execute the plan. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's talk about your workshop. You guys have some trainings and all this kind of stuff. What, what is happening? Okay, as uh, we're talking about the plan, mm -hmm. one of the key things that uh, drives us is, uh, as and she had mentioned earlier on, mm -hmm. we're coming to this long holiday, which starts in, in two weeks' time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we look at it, uh, uh, how activities have been happening in our space, out of school. We we'll as the previous year, we looked into what are some of the activities that we can do to keep our young one proactive during the, the long holidays. And in this case, when we talk about the young ones, and I again repeat, mm -hmm. it's from age 8 to um, age 26. And of course, uh, there is also probably 30. Mm -hmm. Some people are 30 who are able also to work with us. But generally, we are talking, as long as you are youth and you are youthful at heart, we're good to go with you. Youthful at heart. Yes, you're so youth youthful, youthful at, at heart. heart. Yes, youthful at heart. You know, some <laughs> at 50, they're still youthful at heart. <laughs> anyway. And of course, that space. All so right. we are not limiting. Uh -huh. But of course, there are procedures that need to be followed. So during the, the next uh, couple of months, mm -hmm. will be very, very busy months for uh, Talentpreneur. And of course, we've done preparations. We've set uh, venues for trainings, and we've set uh, activities, and we've set facilitators to help our kids, to help our brothers, to help mm -hmm. our sisters, to be in, in, in an environment that is not uh, toxic to their minds so mm -hmm. that by the time they go back to school, they, still have to, they will have to struggle to get back their morals in order to, to concentrate on their academics. So we'll run a set of activities across five regions. And these regions are the Lake region, with the center of Lake Region being Kisumu, where the competition will happen. Mm -hmm. And the Lake Region has uh, counties like uh, Migori, Homa Bay, Siaya, Bungoma, uh, Kakamega, the likes, just the Lake Basin uh, mm -hmm. region. Then we have the Rift Region, whereby we have Nakuru as the center of the competition. But build up activities will happen in those other regions like Baringo, Narok, uh, Eldoret, and uh, yeah, the counties uh, surrounding Nakuru. Mm -hmm. Then now we have the central region, with the main center being in uh, in Meru, and uh, in Meru, of course, we have the likes of Nyeri, Muranga, all those having build up workshop training, and then the competition happening in uh, in Meru. Mm -hmm. We have Nairobi region, and Nairobi region comprises of sub regions like Kiambu, Kajiado, Machakos. Nairobi being the main center mm -hmm. of the competition. 
And then we have the final one, which is the coastal region, having the six counties around coastal region, with Mombasa being the, the center. All these and their dates have already been locked. And of course, when you look at our website and you look at our social media handles, Give you'll out find. Because of time? Yes. Uh, Valentine, um, what are social media handles? On social media, you'll find us on Facebook at Talentpreneur KE. <laughs> Uh, on Twitter, you'll find us at talent underscore preneur Kenya. And on Instagram, you'll find us on talent hyphen preneur KE. All right, guys, because of time, we'll have to call it a day for now. Okay. But I'd like just to give you 30 seconds for a parting shot. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so just what I will tell everyone. Uh, your talent is a, a worthy business venture and uh, for Talentpreneur we'll make sure that we've drived and we've really assisted you to use your talent for socio-economical growth. And with all other partners that we're working closely with, we shall experience a good year whereby Talentpreneur shall uh, help so many kids to grow in their talents, shall, uh, shall help so many youth grow in their talent and shall help so many parents have peace with their kids during the long vacation. And I, for I, I can say that uh, we're here for you. Talentpreneur is going to be your new home, your new family. Uh, your leadership will walk with you, will guide you, will lead you to what you need to do and where you need to be. <coughs> and always remember, your hashtag is talentayako, biznayako. Awesome. Many Thank thanks you. for making it. We much appreciate. Uh, well, we'll be coming back to you. Barry is coming up next, actually. And while so much has been learned, I hope so. For me, I have learned so much, of course. Talent Yako ni busy Yako. Well, Barry coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Entrepreneurship continues in just a few.